Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Daddy's Barbecue Pit. This week, we're gonna cook some open-faced roast beef sandwiches, and we're using our Weber kettle with a rotisserie attachment to get the job done. Our charcoal's ready. We're cooking on one side of this today using our rotisserie attachment. Gonna get that basket nice and full. Dome on her. Now we gotta prep our meat. Okay, so for our uh, uh, roast beef sandwiches that we're doing today, the hot roast beef, we're gonna go ahead and season this guy up. Again, we're cooking on our rotisserie, so uh, we're just going to use some of this W sauce, the Fire Shire, as a binder. We're, we got some AP killer hogs. Big piece of meat, Get it, cover it well. This roast probably won't take long to cook. We're probably going to take it up to about 135, pull it off, let it cool just a little bit. We're going to make up a real nice gravy to go along with it. And then we're going to slice it real thin using our meat slicer. If you don't have a meat slicer, that's fine. Good sharp knife. You could shave this the way it's, the butcher shop tied this up for us. So real easy to shave it. Make some nice slices. We're going to let this thing sit here for about five, 10 minutes and get happy. Now we're going to put it on a rotisserie. Okay, so we're going to get our spit rod put in here and try to shoot for center. Go right through that roast. Get her back on those forks. And we'll put the other side on. Again, this is pretty small roast, only about three pounds. Shouldn't take probably, I'm guessing, maybe hour and 15 minutes to get to the temperature we want. Just gonna touch it up just a little bit with some more rub. All right, knocked it off. She should be good to go. You ready, buddy? Let's do it. This thing's running right at 350, which is about where I want it to be. Gonna go ahead and get this bad boy locked in. Again, we're going to check this in about 45 minutes, see how it looks. Probably do a, a temp check on it. This thing's going to be amazing. So this is about an hour in on this cross rib roast. We're going to check it. We're hitting about 128 right now. Yeah, on all sides, so. We're going to let this go probably for another 15, 20 minutes, and this will be ready to pull off. We're going to take it off the, pit, uh, off the spit rod, and we're going to let it rest so we can slice it up real thin for our uh, hot roast beef sandwiches. Okay, we have hit temp on this roast. We're going to go ahead and pull it off and let it rest. Cool down just a little bit, and we're going to start slicing this real thin with our slicer. Man, does that thing look pretty. Yeah, it does. Okay, everybody, we're gonna make some brown gravy for our roast beef sandwich that we're making here. Turn this down just a little bit. We're gonna get this butter melted good. And we're going in with some uh, portobello mushrooms. These are baby bellas. I'm going with the whole box. Just gonna dust them a little bit with some AP. We do have some other videos where we made some gravy. You're gonna see us add, we're gonna add some flour to this and then some beef stock. Get it good and thick. We're gonna slice up our roast beef, dredge it right in this gravy and then build us some nice sandwiches. Okay, so we got these mushrooms cooked down. We're gonna add about a cup of flour to this. We're just gonna mix it real good. You want to keep stirring it. You don't want the flour to burn. We got some beef stock we're going in with. 
Probably about three cups of that. See how it thickens up. So we're gonna add a little bit of this bouquet to it. A couple splashes of some Worcestershire sauce. Okay, we got our roast beef cooled down. Strings are removed for the most part. And we're gonna go ahead and slice this real thin for our roast beef sandwich. Okay, we're gonna go ahead, our bread's done. And this was just a take and bake bread from Publix. Take and bake. Take and bake, take it home, bake her up. Sourdough, it's still hot. <laughs> it's crunchy. Build ourselves a little Sammy here. We're gonna put a little bit of our gravy on here. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and try this sandwich. We got some sourdough bread that we cooked on the big green egg. Got our roast beef that we sliced thin that we cooked on a rotisserie on the Weber kettle. And we got some of our homemade brown mushroom gravy that we put on top and you can see this thing is quite large. We're gonna give it a try. Let's give her a shot. Probably gonna have to do the old, look at that. It's a two-hander. That's yeah, good, baby. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Gonna need a bib to wear one to eat one of these. <laughs> Don't wear any nice clothes. This thing turned out really good. Mm -hmm. uh, you could use this kind of do this style with slider rolls and make them for a picnic or if you're watching the game with some guys or girls or if you're at the game. Give it a try. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Keep checking back every week. We got new videos. Get some. We're out of here.